Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with a new unboxing video on the Gareth Bull Shamwari. Now, I call this an unboxing video, but really and truly, this is more of a reveal video because I didn't really get a box with this knife. Uh, he sent this to me all the way from South Africa, wrapped up in a Ziploc bag in the express envelope that it was sent in. And uh, so I thought that was pretty interesting. There's always been a discussion about how knife makers like to uh, package and send their knives, and uh, I thought that was an interesting sort of option, the Ziploc bag option. But we can talk about that another time. But again, this is the Gareth Bull Shamwari, and I am so excited to have this in my collection because, well, Nick Shabazz, my good buddy, has always uh, hailed his work and said it was really nice, and so I went ahead and jumped on an opportunity that presented itself. Uh, he posted on Instagram that he was going to be selling some of these knives, and I said, is there one still available? May I have it? And uh, he sold it to me right away, and I was lucky enough to grab this woven carbon fiber edition and uh, we can talk a little bit more about the specs. So let's go ahead and do an overall sort of view of the knife here. Uh, it's a nice size EDC knife. I'll bring out the ruler here. This is everyone's favorite star from the last video I did. It's about a 3.25 inch blade. Uh, back to the pivot, it's about 3 and uh, 3.6 inches, something like that. The handle itself is about four and a quarter inches right there. Overall length, you're looking at just over seven and a half inches, so not bad on the size at all. A very nice overall length, an overall size for everyday carry. I'll bring out a couple of other knives for a comparison here. Uh, recently, I had the Spyderco Manix 2 on the channel. How about a Spyderco Paramilitary 2 for a size comparison? So, you know, it's not a tiny knife but it's not a big knife. It's really fitting right in that category of perfect size. You know, here's another Spyderco that's a good size. That's a Shaman right there. That's really, really cool. Um, I'll go ahead and bring out, uh, let's see, a Custom Knife Factory Gavco Spinner. I'm going to start getting into some of the weird knives now. I've got a uh, Ferrum Forge and Mass Drop Falcon right here. Uh, how about another front flipper knife? Uh, this is going to be sort of a preview of a video I intend to make sometime in the future once my boost smoke comes in, uh, is a comparison of some front flippers. This is the Kaiser Feist, another little EDC front flipper in the uh, budget category right there. Oh, I keep hitting my camera stand here. Here's my uh, Olight S-Mini Ti. So how about something that's not a knife for a size comparison? And I'll go ahead and bring out this too. This is something new that I just picked up. This is a Fellholter uh, screw it screwdriver uh, made out of copper, and it's uh, pretty awesome. I'll feature that in another video, I think. Um, so here it is. We've got that blade up front done in M390. It is hollow ground. It has a crowned swedge, or it has a crown top, and then it dips into a swedge as it goes down to the tip. It's very difficult for me to capture this on camera and it is absolutely stunningly beautiful to behold. Uh, I hope that you can see that on the video. Uh, it's a beautiful hand satin finish, and then the flats are done in almost a mirror polish, as well as the crown spine and the swedge, and so it creates an angle. Let me see if I can focus on that. Can you see that angle that the swedge makes as it goes up to the crown spine? Absolutely beautiful, but that's also mirror polished and super, super beautiful. It runs on ball bearings, and this was the biggest surprise of all. This is probably the smoothest knife I've ever handled, and uh, I've handled quite a bit of knives at this point, but this ball bearing pivot almost feels like it's running on electromagnets. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, I'm not very good at deploying a front flipper, so don't let that uh, make that determination. But uh, it is so incredibly smooth. Lightweight blades like this are not supposed to fall shut like that. I've never seen one, even on the smoothest knives. You know, okay, take a, a Benchmade at this size that's super smooth. You know, this is on a totally different level in terms of the way that it feels. And I'm really impressed by that. And I can only imagine if it continues to break in what it might feel like in a month or six months or a year. And so that's really, really exciting to me. Really happy with that action. Um, right here, we've got, uh, moving back, we've got this beautiful handle done with these shadow boxed carbon fiber scales. 
This is the woven carbon fiber pattern. This series of knives that he released had three different versions. There was this woven carbon fiber, which is sort of the standard carbon fiber finish, which is beautiful on this. Absolutely love it. He also had a forged carbon fiber. It looked like a marbled carbon fiber, uh, and that was really cool. I actually initially asked for that, but it wasn't available. Uh, and then he had a boomerang pattern, so he took this carbon fiber or one like it, and he kind of milled it at a, an angle, and it makes a boomerang type pattern, and it looked nice as well, but I liked this one a little bit more. So I was lucky to pick this one up. Super, super happy to have this. Uh, look, it's contoured. It's very nicely finished. You can see how it shines in the light there, and it shows the different layers and the depth of the carbon fiber. That's cool to me. Super comfortable in the hand. There are really no hot spots at all around here. The shadow boxing, uh, like I said, uh, well, the shadow boxing is really just not even noticeable. There's no sharp edges anywhere. Everything has been contoured or chamfered. Look at the back here and the way that that carbon fiber is finished. So nicely done up at the top as well. So what you'll notice is that there are a couple of screws on the front and the back here. These are holding the scales on, and underneath is a screw that's going into this beautiful blue anodized uh, backspacer here, this standoff. That's cool. That's a little pop of color. I wasn't expecting that either. So this knife has been really full of surprises. Another thing that appealed to me about this knife was the clip. This is a 3D mill deep carry clip. Absolutely beautifully done. There's a screw from the inside and there's a screw from the outside holding that thing on. And I think that's really just a brilliant design. It looks awesome. Carries very deep. You know, only a little bit of the knife is showing, just enough to take it out of the pocket easily. It's got just the right amount of spring. It's got a nice ramp to it so it goes easily in and out of any pocket. It's nice and tall so it can go onto uh, thick jeans if you want to, and so that's super, super nice. Now, how does this thing carry? It carries beautifully. It is a very, very, very nice uh, weight. I've only carried it once so far. I've really only had it for a short amount of time. I need to just go ahead and let that turn on and tear here. So there we go, zero ounces. It's a nice weight. I'll flip it over here. 3.45 ounces, it says on there. So that's an amazing, amazing weight. Very, very happy with that. Easy to carry this every single day. Now, the action is something that I'm going to have to learn how to do better. I'm getting better at doing the uh, front flipping. Super awesome. I, I love how sleek it makes this knife look. It's a very subtle little uh, protuberance up there, and it just makes the knife fire so nicely. You can do it in some other ways. You can reach your finger around like this and open up the knife like that. I'm not particularly good at it. And supposedly you can also flip the knife like that, but I'm not good at that either. So I'm going to have to learn how to do that. Uh, this is really the one thing I just want to talk about is how smooth this knife is. That is just what blows me away. If you're able to get your hands on this knife, uh, really and truly you're going to be impressed by how smooth it is. Now I have some other knives that are pretty smooth. Uh, I just got in actually a Shirogorov F3. This knife is known for being extremely smooth. Now it is, don't get me wrong, but I'm telling you man, this knife is on a totally different level of smoothness and solidity. So very, very impressed. Super happy to have this Gareth Bull Shamwari in my collection. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Go ahead and follow him over on Instagram to keep up with his updates and releases and knife sales. Uh, to pick up one just like this if you want it. And then um, go ahead and follow me at Dr. Frunky. Click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel here and uh, come back for the next video. As always, guys, this is Dr. Frunky saying take care.